Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Melinda, Sephora Beauty Director, and today I'm super excited to talk about how I like to protect and maintain my hair extensions in five steps. So let's jump in. Before we get started, I just want to tell you that I have a braid-in type of extension, so there's no glue, there's no clamp, there's no tape. However, if you have other kinds of extensions, I know there's so many kinds out there, a lot of these tips are really relevant. Just make sure you're talking to your hairstylist or doing your own research to make sure it fits for you. Okay, first up, you have to protect your hair extensions. You have to protect your investment. So you always want to use a heat styling spray if you're going to be using heat on your extensions, on your hair, no matter what, use a heat protection spray. I really like this one from Living Proof. It's kind of a tried and true. It's the perfect hair day heat styling spray, and it's really easy to use. Just gonna shake it up. I kept one rogue piece of straight hair for y'all in the back here, so I can just finish my style and show you how to use this. So you're just gonna take this spray, and spray about eight to 10 inches away from root to tip. Once you do that, you can go straight in with your heat tool. I'm using the Amica High Tide Deep Waver tool on my hair today, which I really, really love. It's so easy to use because you literally just open and close. So, I'll show you real quick. This is just a tiny piece of hair, so I can move pretty quickly. But what's great about this is as I'm setting my hair into these waves, I don't have to worry about extra damage happening because I know that protectant is gonna give me up to 450 degrees of protection and my hair is just gonna keep moisture better, it's gonna be less damage, there's gonna be less breakage, all of those good things will happen if you just protect your hair. Okay, so number two is maintenance. You wanna make sure that you're always brushing your extensions regularly. You know everyone has that grandma who said, you know, brush your hair on each side 150 times and you sit there and you count. Well, she wasn't exactly wrong. I mean, I suppose you could do too much and you definitely wanna be gentle but you wanna make sure that you're brushing regularly to avoid tangles or anything like that. I really like this brush from Briogeo. It's the Vegan Boar Bristle Hair Brush, and I love it because the bristles are a little bit more gentle. So I just, you know, every day, like to brush from underneath. When you have extensions, it's always a good idea to hold your hair from the top. Make sure not you're not pulling on where the extension is connected at the root of your hair, whether you have braid-ins, tape-ins, etc. So just gently brushing. And when you do your roots, be careful not to push too hard or get snagged on where the extension is actually attached to your scalp. So I use that pressure even later up top. I know this is really simple, I'm just telling you to brush your hair, but a lot of people forget to do it. And honestly, the more you do it, the softer that they'll be. Okay, so number three is moisture. You're gonna wanna put moisture and hydration back into your extensions. Because your extensions aren't attached to your scalp like natural hair is, the oil that is created on your natural scalp doesn't always travel all the way down the hair shaft. So this ends up feeling a lot more dry than what might up here. And it doesn't make your extensions last as long because when they dry, there's breakage and you just can't get as much wear out of them. Not to mention, you want them to look nice and healthy. So one that I've been loving is from Verb and this is the Ghost Weightless Hair Oil. The reason I like it is exactly what the title says, it's weightless. I have fine hair but regardless of your hair type this oil is really fantastic because it just pumps in so much moisture without adding too much product. So I'll just take like a pump or two and work it between my hands and really focus on my mid shafts to ends. That's where you're gonna feel the most dryness, especially the ends just like your natural hair and make sure you're coating all of your hair. It's not just for your extensions, it's for your hair too. It's going to add that moisture, add that hydration and it won't weigh it down. And look at, I feel like it just gives it a nice little glossy shine too. One of the most important things that people often forget when they have hair extensions is scalp care. I know I've done it. I tend to get a little bit of dry scalp and when I notice that happening, I'm like, oh, I haven't been taking care of my scalp. Oh, I haven't been washing my hair enough or something along those lines. 
but it can be hard when you have extensions. You know, whether you have braid-ins, tape-ins, glue-ins, whatever kind of extension that you have going on, it's really easy to forget about your scalp. So I just wanna reiterate how important that is. If your scalp health is off par, then your hair might not be growing. And if you are wearing hair extensions, chances are you want your hair to grow. So this one from Mizani is the Wonder Crown Scalp Foaming Pre-Cleanse. It's really simple to use. I love that it has like this little nozzle on top because it just makes it easy to get into your scalp, especially working around the extensions. Basically, you're just gonna apply this to your scalp before you would go in to wash your hair. You'll apply it to your dry scalp, add some water, let it emulsify for a minute and sit for a minute. So two minutes total, and then you'll rinse it out, shampoo and condition as usual. It's just really gonna help break down all of that product buildup that you might have and make sure that you're keeping your scalp nice and happy. Okay, so number five, last one, but equally as important. This is from ColorWow, their Color Security Shampoo and Conditioner. You have to clean your extensions. Some people think that when you have extensions, you don't really need to wash your hair as often. Total myth. You might not wanna wash your hair quite as often as you usually do. I wash my hair maybe one to two times per week. But what's important to consider when washing and conditioning your hair is that the products that you're using are sulfate free, they're gentle, and they're adding enough moisture back into your hair. Moisture is key here again. So I really like this one from ColorWow. It's definitely great if you also dye your hair. I find that it's fantastic for protecting that color and it doesn't drain it quite as quickly as some other shampoos do. But like I said, first and foremost, just make sure you're protecting your extensions no matter what kind you have and make sure you're using something sulfate free and very gentle. So the shampoo is kind of like a clear gel. You'll see as I kind of pop it out here just looks like that and when you use it in the shower it creates a really nice foam and I always like a little bit of a foam when I'm washing. I also really love the formula of the conditioner. It is this really great creamy gel texture and it's not too heavy and it's not too light which I don't know about you, I'm a little bit picky about that with my conditioners. Something too heavy that feels like a mask because I have fine hair will weigh it down. This doesn't. It really just adds the perfect amount of moisture back. It makes it easier to brush my hair after I get out of the shower and it adds that moisture back in, which is so, so important. All right, that's it. Those are my five tips. I really hope that one of them help you out or all of them help you out. If you have any please leave them in the comments below. We are always looking for more extension tips. There's not enough of them out there. And I will see you all next time. Bye.